What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, Zika Milligan, the Bella Fun Trilligan, and we are back on Persona 5 Royal. Last episode, I don't remember, but a lot of things did happen. It, it was literally yesterday too, so I don't I don't know why I'm for why why I'm drawing a blank here. I think today we were talking about um finding a new what whatever they're called. A new target. Hi. Why are you here? Uh what voice should I give him? I kind of want to give him the, an Adachi type voice, but oh man, Sunny does the Adachi voice best. I don't know if I can pull that off. Okay, you say the dumbest, you say the dumbest shit. Okay, fancy seeing you here. All right, I guess Shujin was in this direction too. Still, I wouldn't have expected to run into you at this time. Perhaps it really is fate. How are you doing? Sleepy. Did you stay up too late? Are you all right? No, I don't think, no, 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 no Adachi voice. He seems like a sweetheart. I don't want to give him an Adachi voice. Adachi's not a sweetheart. Um, oh, I do like that response, to be honest. I, I do like that response. It's honest and it keeps the conversation from dragging. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been wondering how to answer such questions. Hmm. I suppose it's best to simply be yourself and say what you think. You've given me much to consider. If it isn't too much trouble, may I speak with you again sometime? He seems like a sweetheart. When washing your hair with dissolved copper, your hair changes color changes your hair color changes. It goes green, don't it? It'll go green, right? Yeah, green. Cause I know if you cause I know if you got a chain, right? And if you got a fake chain. And um, and it's actually you know mainly copper instead of like gold or silver or whatever, cause it's fake. It'll like when you wash it, it goes green. I know that, so I figured it'd be the same. This is it. <laughs> Come on, I'm intelligent. Whoever told y'all I wasn't smart? You should kill them. Oh good, you haven't gone home yet. Mother? Nijimisan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Lost item? I don't understand. You're telling me that isn't going to get you out of this. No, I'm genuinely confused. What is going on? The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. Got it? Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? Yeah. What can she want? No, she wants dick. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm talking to myself. I apologize. That's just inappropriate. I can't be saying shit like that. Where? Where, right here? That's the broadcast room. That's where you find all the broads. Hold on. You don't want everyone talking about a president outside the world, but you don't cause her any trouble. Bro, you ever thought about killing yourself? Mm. What we called for? This is rather strange. What were we called for? This is rather strange. Ah, huh. earlier than expected. Thought I was gonna ditch. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point, Mr. Kamashita and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Excuse you? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to- Oh! I did not mean to do that. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I you think it's true. We'll be okay if we keep doing this. What should this all mean? We screwed up. Yeah, oh my goodness, bro. See, this is why I keep telling Ryuji to shut up and keep his voice down. This is why I keep saying that. He's so freaking loud. My goodness. Blackmail, hypnosis. How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? That's the culprit, me. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe 
But you three are the phantom thieves. Nah, you capping. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? Oh, you a bitch. It's bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? Ah, uh, damn! Let me think about it. Ah! Uh! I believe that time would just be wasted. You're a whore. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. Ryuji, you fucking bitch! You talk too much. That idiot. No. As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. There's nothing we can do. We're fucked. <laughs> we gotta take her. And of course, it's Ryuji's fault. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What the, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? <sighs> I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. Why should it matter? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to storm <sighs> An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame. While those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? That's a good point. That's also the same reason Naoto was suspicious in P4. Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. Well, if there's someone whose heart we gotta change, we're gonna change it. <sighs> it's just turning into a real pain. It's your fault! Don't complain, nigga! You caused this! If you were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? It was your loud ass voice that led everyone there! I'm so sorry. How many times I gotta tell you to keep your voice down? How many times do I gotta tell you to keep your voice down, you loud bitch? Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So, we doing this? We have to. All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside. We can just way. put you on FaceTime or some shit. What could she be scheming? That's some bullshit, bro.
I'm so effing pissed. You should be, nigga. Do what you gotta do what she says. Considering what has happened, it seems we have no other choice. Whose heart we should change, don't matter. But there might be a reason behind who she picks, right? I wonder who it is. I almost went for Makoto. I'm curious myself. Makoto, um, M Makoto, Makoto Yuki. Meant she wants us to prove our justice. Must be some reason behind her choice. Contact immediately if you find anything out. Don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? I ain't dumb. Nigga, you are. Hiding both face and mind. Afraid for you to She's a shrewd run. We best be prepared for anything. I'm about to be prepared to beat the fucking shit out of her. I'm trying to beat some dick. I'm feeling very inappropriate today. I can't, I can't, I can't control what comes out of my mouth. If you're so good, show your face. Why'd you jump on my cock? Stop cussing so much. Woman with the camera, who are you? Oh, I remember her. Outside of Madarame's house. Hey, it's you. Morning, going to school? I'm just headed home. The morning sun is too bright. Who are you again? What about your job? Nope. I pulled an all-nighter. Journalist Ichiko Ohaya works around the clock, you know? Well, you work hard on your studies. Don't talk to me like we friends. I don't know you. We met one time and had a two-minute conversation. We're not cool. I was thinking you might not show. She still got so, BJ on her neck. Do you want us to change? A mafia boss. Mafia? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse, once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. Yeah, we might gotta take care of them now. They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The oh victims my goodness. are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? Give us some details, bruh. Why are you being so serious? Cause we need to get this going! Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. Ah, this is so you you're weeks. fucking useless. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. Ah, oh, fucking hell, man. Why does it look like he's holding a knife? The student council president from Shujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? You seem upset. I'm not. Why would Makoto? Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Shut the fuck up. I'm telling the truth. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. So mad. The mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble. If we change the heart of somebody that's like 
not famous, but actively evil. You know, like publicly evil. Everybody knows this guy's evil. We'll get a lot more people on our side. Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Oh, right. That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. You talk too loud! What do you say, leader? Let's prove our justice. Hell yeah. We just gotta do what we always do. Jerk them off. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. We'll get this I'll done in a couple days. And see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right. Let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Aw, oh, man. This is like the freaking P4 shit all over We're again. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry. I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? What up? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayori. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Oh, that's fine! Ah, oh, the Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. What do you mean? What are you talking about? To put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. Damn, nigga, you tough as hell on yourself. My apologies. Loosen up. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori, her incandescent figure. I mean, it's cool. Gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But, if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? 
You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. Yeah, true. Yeah, sure. You would? W wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. About damn time. I look forward to speaking about this matter. I right. don't. Shit, you talk a lot. Rain, huh? It always brings me down. Online, people talking about it all over. In my expert opinion, Ida of Class 2D is guilty. So as the beginning, what is he guilty of? Supposedly he's been spending money left and right recently. That is because of some great part-time job he got. Worth looking into. Ask him about it. I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. Uh, yeah, I'm not giving it a try. I've rarely talked to him before. Back me up if something happens. Great things this time. Takamaki's world-class acting. Oh my goodness. Hey. Shut up! The rumors are pretty terrible. I think that blackmail stuff was insane. Had anything to do with me, but they're even victims of my class. Know all about that. Ask if you want a high-paying job. Say yes, you get dragged into the real shady stuff. The teachers of class press will do something about it, though. People are real worried. But the postings, I wonder if she was serious about it. She knew about the common sheet and sexual harassment. She probably won't be too much help. Keep facing twilight on and on without a clue. Y'all stay on my phone. Eat a guy, I'll ask him. We're counting on you. Leave it to me. Level of motivation makes me a little nervous. And in the case, let us know if you learned anything. Alright, let's see. Nijimakun, what is going on here? Apparently, the damage done by this so called mafia has even reached our students. She warned you of that! Well, I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? You're just a useless... Please, just give me a little more time. Ah, uh, kids these days... Shut up! Between paper bills and coins... Which one is issued by the government? It's both, right? Oh, coins. And so I really need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida-kun. Please? <sighs> you don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um, now that you mention it, yes. So, um, what I mean is, this is going south fast. Uh, oh, Francois! Huh? Huh? My cat Francois got run over by a car and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Uh, if Francois I were wish to die, you would get hit I by think a car. I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. He's falling like for it. it. Tell me about that easy 
part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. What the Let's heck? leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Yes, my son. Hmm? No, you're not my son. Hmm? You are, my, my son will never be a disappointment. You're a disappointment, stupid freaking cat. Do you have a minute? Oh my goodness. You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. <laughs> Where's Nishiyama? Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Probably the journalist lady. Maybe. Is President Nijima keeping an eye on you? Student Council President on Ash, hurry up. Do you have anything you want to ask about? Nishiyama. Serious student with great games. I always see him at the library. Flo, why don't you talk to him? Thank you. Even though she's kind of mean sometimes, she's very helpful. I got to give her that. Where's this Nishiyama boy? Here you are. Nishiyama? That's me. You're that transfer student. What's this about a job? Uh, are you talking about that one time? I, I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. That's something Ida. Wait, are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Tell me what you know. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was his job? I'm, I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes 10 minutes. And is good for people who don't stand out. Anything else? Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? All right. He's suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes. All right. Found anything? I've tried looking into this high-paying job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. A man will walk, talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street. Your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. So that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. Yeah, definitely. It takes 10 minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. They trafficking. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. It's, it, yeah, it's either fraud or drugs. I'm gonna say drugs. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Meet Mishimiya. Looked into Ida on my own anyway. Rumor has it he's involved in some specific part time job. Job's apparently insane. Trafficking drugs. So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Watch me teleport. Watch me teleport. <laughs> Watch me teleport. Boom, I'm here. What, what's what's cracking? What's crack a lapping, the dipping, the dopping, the duping, the popping, the flipping, the flopping? The job, or else my beloved Francois. She's still doing that. All right, take over for her. Move. Tell us the truth. Uh, come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. But I do. Nishimiya to Nishiyama told me everything. He did? That bastard. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. What's up with you? 
Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You're a drug smuggler, bro. How did you... I've only told one person about that. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Never. I got you, bro. I see. Don't worry well, about it. Even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? So can I go? Well then. How'd it go? I'm acting help at all? No, no, no. Your acting was terrible. Find anything? Drugs. Ask you to deliver drugs. Shibuya drugs. Got a ton of hits. Making people traffic drugs and threatening them. People talking about in Shibuya. Seem to be doing this. Bold mythology. They go for high schoolers. Okay, okay. You're over in Shibuya, right? Do you see anyone like that? Hit the streets up to tell. Rain's not helping. Let's do it tomorrow. Alright, get in touch with y'all when we come up with a plan. They talk a lot. I say that a lot. It feels like they talk a lot more in Persona 5 than they did in Persona 3 and 4. Actually, I had a customer, but it's just you. I never get many customers when it rains. The cash register is going to run dry at this rate. Find them tomorrow for sure. That's the only lead we have. Part-time solicitor. If we tell him, we may take a seat to the boss. Talk to Ida and Nishiyama over at Central Street. Leave it to me. Take that as a compliment. No objection. All right, all right, we got it, we got it, we got it. I don't get it. Nijima arguing with the principal about the mafia or something. What was that all about? Oh, the sister's involved with the investigation. Maybe she's just trying to play detective. You kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. You be president then. See how you handle it. Stop talking about people. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting <sighs> them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. We gotta do it. Right. We're gonna grab him by the tail. Gonna grab him by the balls. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Grab him by the cock. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. I'll kill him. Don't worry. All right. Let's go. Just as we planned. We might end up running into the mafia. Be ready for anything. Is that Makoto? Investigating here with your friends today. Hope something comes out of it. Mm. She's probably investigating too. Is that dingy? Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Uh, hello? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. <laughs> I'm not interested. Oh, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? This Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. You filthy drug dealers. You don't see guys like me very often. 
want a part-time job. Try talking to someone else. Introduce me. I only know one guy. See him in the alley across that way. I don't think he's here today. Might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. Maybe this other person would know something. Apparently near the train station. Miss President is here. I just walked past her at the station. Guess she's curious about all this. L well, let's just ignore her. She's not getting in our way. Nothing. Sticking out the underground hot walkway. And it got me. Underground shopping. Continue on your end. Everyone's aim. really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. Oh. Working hard. I'm looking mm. for someone. Trying to find a homeless man? That's a good idea. They would know a lot about what goes on in this town. Haven't seen any here, but I would bet there's some in the underground area. Mm. Mm. I don't like the idea, but we should check it out. Okay. I guess Makoto's not being completely useless. Hey, you homeless bum. That scary look in your face. You have something to say to me, just say it. I want a part-time job. You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice, don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends falling victim to their schemes. That mafia is evil, I tell you. How do I meet them? They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area around now. But just, know, just so you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use weird phrases, code words. That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. Maybe a little? Grab something as expected of you. Go over the intel we have. I'll start. Some guy near the access way talking about some strong drugs. Not counting on anything, but I'll check it out. Heard someone soliciting high paying job. They're mostly targeting girls. I'll see what it's about. On my end, strange things in the back alley arcade. Ice and vegetables and something about snow tomorrow. I will go observe the- <laughs> All right, we should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. How do I get to the Taiku building? Where's Makoto when you need her? She could probably tell me where to go. But oh, that's Yusuke. <sighs> Wondering what the arcade is. I'll be going now. High school student. Man, I've been looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place you go to play games. I low-key do not know where to go. Hello. Oh. Makoto? Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? It's going well. That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh, you're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Makoto, I do not think we need to be taking this attitude with a mafia gentleman. Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Hey, come on, man. Look, violence is not the answer. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. Makoto, you probably fucked it up. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I'm amazed you figured it out. Let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying. You were laying down some terrible traps. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I'm going to go now. That 
boss seems tricky. It looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. I fight demons every day. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. <laughs> Let's do it. You think it's safe? Tons of people. We're being followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. It's on a setting. Let's just ban. Meet a karaoke. Uh, uh, muscle hour. What is that wrong? Happy hour, goofball. It's hustle hour, muscle hour, happy hour. Happy hour, finna the jack of coward. It's an unknown number. Oh. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. How'd you get my number? I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. I'm certain all along. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. I'm about to study, bro. Now Shut up! Alright, alright, alright. It's gonna go up this time. It's going up this time, I promise. <laughs> I knew it! Don't y'all ever misunderstand who Big Daddy Zeke is. Boy... So, we meet again. My what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? A criminal, I would think. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. I am not helping you d with detection, bro. They suck. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. Ryuji she says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. Ryuji? But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Exactly. On's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. <laughs> they suck! I thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll show to catch you up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Mm. Who could that be? Yeah, no way we just happen to know someone who'd... Wait, that journalist! You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about her. Didn't she give you her card? I threw it away. 
Never mind. Ichiko Ohaya. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Ah, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <coughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? ASAP no Rocky. ASAP no Ferg. Coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose in other people's business. Mm -hmm. Goodness. It's like, like, we're the ones. Yeah, we're the ones being dragged into this. Oh, I can't call her now, can I? Makoto. I received a call from your school. They were asking if you've made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but... Is there some kind of issue at your school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, there should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. Study, study, study. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let, let, like, let the girl play some freaking Mario Brothers. Dang. Get in touch with you. We just emailed her. Like, yeah, literally. Looking for info. I can't find a thing. I only got two weeks left. 10 days. We ain't got, we aren't gonna have much more time even when we start right after she responds. The battle will have to be a quick one then. Consider what we do in case we fail. Don't jinx this. Nervousness will not help us solve anything. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn panic. Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. <sighs> well then. Wait for work, let's prepare to play in the meantime. I was expect. Bobby, while you are expecting information from that journalist, remember the threat about the group of burglars in Shibuya? Once posted about his brother is at my school. Is a student at my school? Some more prodding I found with a few more details. Didn't seem like it had anything to do with the mafia. His brother's name, Kazuya Makigami. Someone involved in that goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. You even found the name of the guy we're looking for. The burglar guys are gonna be as scary as the mafia, it's just a plain dude. What's shown what being a fan of thieves really about? Hmm. Have our target. We also have the mafia to deal with too, so make sure the timing's right. Meet up at the hideout. We gotta kill that old man, and then we gotta stop burglar, burger. Put your cock away! Who is this, the old man? 
Old man must that old man must be Ono. Let's stop him before he causes any more trouble. What the hell? Who the hell are you people? Do you have any problem with me, hey Giono? Come on. First thing out of his mouth. Is the old guy making trouble in Kichi nice. Joji? Ah, nice. I can tell you're annoyed even with your mask on. That shows how interested in you are in me. Hey Giono, right? Right? He's certainly disturbed. Let's end this joker. Yes, yes, get mad. Look at me. Hey, Giono. Shut up. What kind of trouble should I cause next? Is Bro just mischievous? Alright, he's done. We gotta kill this old man. Why is Morgana leveling up? I knew I was wrong. It started with something small. Whenever I'd do something stupid, my family would worry about me. My son usually treats me like I'm worthless, but he would care for me in those There's times. There's no other way. It felt so good that I started seeking that kind of attention everywhere. I started cause I ended up causing so much trouble. Hmm. An unfortunate consequence of isolation. Yeah, sorry. I've caused so much trouble. How am I supposed to live like this? Apologize. Apologize, it's too late I'm for that. So embarrassed. Important thing is to start making up for it. That's true. Certain your family wishes as well. Taking out another, you should communicate your needs directly. Tell them that you're lonely before it's too late. Let me make it up to you. We did that, Tamakamaki. Excuse me, sir. Joker, there's a chest. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. These shadows are beyond stupid. Oh. Kazuya Makigami shadow. He looks so bad. Yes. Burglary ring. He's used to violence against his brother. Do something about this. Let's talk to him. Can we kill him instead? <laughs> that's like one of the guys we were talking to. That's like one of the guys we saw earlier. Me, am I the one behind the burglary ring? Yeah, that's right. Convince my friends to do some part-time work for me, but I'm not in the wrong. Trying to make excuses? Now you should be ashamed of yourself. No, I just meant it, in a, meant it as a way to have a little fun, but those idiots got cocky. Now I'm the one who got in trouble. Why do bad things always happen to me? Huh? What are you talking about? Since I was a kid, school, society, everyone treated me like I was dirt. My little brother was a smart one. Mom and dad's favorite, they could've cared less about me. I expect me to live a normal life, but I better get in shadow society. Violence or crimes rebellion? Bro, actually off you. yourself. Can we just kill him? My goodness, he talks a lot. Condescending gaze, I'll crush you. Persona. It looks like he's weak to dark. You're mine. I knew it. Oh, we did it, just like that. Wait, everybody levels up? If everybody gets levels, then what's the point of running duos? What, I supposed to do? what are you Phantom Thieves anyway? This is impossible. I get it now. You must have heard from my brother. That's right. If you guessed as much, you should know how your brother really feels. He did this for me. That's the key to the chest in my room. Give it to my brother. You're supposed to be the good kind of thieves, right? Anything you want to tell him? Burn what's inside or throw it away, I guess.
give it to his brother. What we do? I can't give it to him so he goes to my school. No, I'll just sneak it into his house. I think that's the best way. Hope everything resolves itself. Very much succeeded with our mission. Let's go. Journalist responded. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. What's Shinjuku like? Let me see. I guess to put it simply, it's a nightlife district for adults. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. I'm about to get groomed. I do not want to get groomed. <laughs> Rather dangerous, should, where should we meet up? Stand by, it'll be easier to move around with less of us. I don't have the money to take a train there. If he's going, there's no need to worry. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? Nuh uh. It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t shirt over it. Uh, you stand out. Oh, you think so? I thought this is normal. Your fit sucks! I'm surprised you were thinking anything. Look, it won't be my fault when the cops catch you. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Your fit is trash! Is this really going to be okay? Alright, I'm about to go. I'm about to turn the freaking AC on. It's getting hot in here. I might take off my clothes. Uh, 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 what I'm he opens his mouth, but the nut misses out. Um, she's choking out. There's no nut in his mouth. The clock's running out. Time's up. I'm blowing now. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Bow down to my lyrical ingenuity. Pins in tune with me. And then the Vince is fooling me. The JL line. Shut up. I don't know what the freaking JL line is. What is that? Where is that? You keep telling me, go here, go there, go here, go there. I don't know where any of that is. Oh, freaking penis liquor, bro. Whoa. Even that night, this place is bright as hell. That's Shinjuku for you. Hey. Not looking around, you're looking towards. Whoa. Trying to find the place we're looking for. Crossroads bar right up ahead. Sure, we'll get that we keep going straight. Welcome to Izakaya. How about some all you can eat booze on a cheap? What? You're on your age! Problem? I'm just a kid. Get out of here. You're in the way. The hell? Yeah, 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 you talk to us. How about you fix your freaking eyes? Want to come play? Touch all you want. No added fees. Cutest girls in town. No. Goodness. You sex trafficker? Is that Baka? Huh? Is, is that that Baka guy Kendrick was talking about? He's got a weird case? You have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Nah, bro. I'm just jerking my shit. Really? Um, I'm a college student. Oh, yeah. We're adults, you see? Ryuji, shut up. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Oh, wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Oh, shit. Hey, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Ryuji! Let's run! 
How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Yeah, is your Oh! I excuse me. Oh, I thought that was that one lady from um P3 that gave fortunes. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? No. Yes. I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to It's pass. a scam. <sighs> More of this shit. Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. Ignore her. If you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. I believe in that shit. Oh wait, no, where are we going? Oh man. We ain't old enough we to hang out here. hang out here. Oh. You sure this is the place? I see. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Fine, isn't it? Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time too. Mmm. Mmm, you're freaking useless. I can't say nothing back. I feel bad, but I'll leave this to you guys. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Welcome, welcome. Ew! How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lalachan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Go on back there. Borrow the seats in the back. I, some water. I prefer lemonade. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. Don't look at me lovingly. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Hmm. Oh, why that? I need intel on the boss. Hmm. No, the beans. I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? Why are you asking me? You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the phantom thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse... Who didn't? Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. I know someone. It's a deal, then! Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick way. Morgana, shut up. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Psycho. Well, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but. Junior Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Junior Watanabe on yes. You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. She thinks she Aiko Mother Niwa. God, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. 
You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! Info on a target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. How'd it go? Nailed it. Meet up ASAP. Be in front of the movie theater. So we just have to go back there. You mocking me? Shut up. I'm finna mock my penis in your mouth. Keep playing. Okay, talk to him. Hey. Tired of waiting. You get any dirt on a new target? For real? Junior Kaneshiro. Hey. And enter. All right. There we go. Let's get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Tomorrow is better when we have the whole team together. Tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. This is totally crazy though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Oh, you're right. He would totally... He would be natural. But a graphic T would play pants. Ugh, kill me now. Whoa! Oh, hell. This has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel. Straight out of heaven. I'm Julian. Julie, if you're feeling saucy. What a cutie. You'll never guess he was in a dr into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. Peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Whoa. Hey, it's not like that. Dude, tell him we're just investigating or something. Knock him dead. Huh? You gonna leave me here? Come on, your best friend's in trouble. You're not my fucking best friend. You useless piece of shit. I don't hate you. I don't dislike you. But you're not my best friend. Not no more. Yusuke, that's my boy right there. You got the chucks pa in those cheekbones. I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights, and I know just the dress for you. Um. Hopefully, Ryuji finds his calling, or at least makes it out alive. Wanna head back? Damn, bro got kidnapped. That ain't my problem, though. Find any clues? I have a name. You did it! Meet about to hide out tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Did bro put his phone in his cock? Got a new post when that old man was starting up trouble. Sounds like he went, he and his son went around apologizing to everyone in Harmony Alley. It was like he was a totally different person, begging them on his knees for forgiveness. Sounds like a change of heart. Nice work as always. You know what she said to me? What's this about? What kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute? Is she hot? Totally hot. You'll see. Don't tease me. I'm going to sleep over this. We're teasing his cock. I need- SHUT UP! I'm saying stuff that I only say around Sunny, bro. Like, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. I don't know why I'm just in the mood to say a bunch of weird things. I wanted to talk. How much more forward can this girl get? Is this really what I think? It is? Could it be? You'll find out. Keep teasing him. Man, I'm so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. He's gonna be... I'm gonna make sure I don't introduce you. I'll let you know if we end up ho looking, hooking up. He's gonna be so pissed off. He's gonna be so pissed off when he realizes he's not getting play. When he realizes he isn't pulling bitches. I need the man. I'm a shapeshifter. I'm a shapeshifter.